There are many misconceptions about Spotted Hyena society. Historically, they've been painted as thieves and scavengers and villains. But in all actuality, they're incredibly successful hunters, they're very invested mothers, and they live in these socially complex, intelligent societies. To find out why playing together is so important for low-ranked hyenas, Kate needs to track down a den site to find some youngsters. After each mother has their cub, they keep them at a natal den for about one month. But after that month is up, all of the moms within a territory will move their hyena cubs to a communal den. This is where all of the cubs will meet all of the other hyenas in their clan that are the same age. Every cub inherits its rank from its mother. And as the youngsters meet their new clanmates, they discover where they fit into the hierarchy. The lowest ranked cubs learn the hard way. This young male is at the bottom of the pecking order. He's the target of relentless bullying, which reinforces his low status. We do see a lot of aggressions from clanmate to clanmate, but these aggressions are generally ritualized aggressions or very stereotyped. They're never very severe. While the aim of this aggression isn't to cause injury, cubs of low rank suffer high levels of stress. Stress weakens the immune system over time and can even shorten an animal's lifespan. For a low-ranked hyena, life may seem hopeless. But everything changes when Kate introduces a toy to the clan. These cubs are really inquisitive with new things that they find in their environment. Here we have a little rope toy, and we're hoping that we can encourage some play behavior. The dominant cubs are quick to get involved. They start a game of tug of war. The low-ranked male watches on as the high-rankers have all the fun. He dares to try his luck at getting in on the game. <laughs> what happens next is astonishing. Not only is he allowed to join in, but the others allow him a taste of what it's like to be dominant by letting him take control of the rope. Play is actually one of the only times in Spotted Hyena society where this really strict hierarchy completely breaks down and it becomes socially acceptable for high rankers and low rankers to play with each other and vice versa. This extraordinary breakdown in the hierarchy isn't just between cubs. Adults also join in group games. They too allow low-ranked youngsters a moment of victory.